Evening, folks. Alrighty. Well, I'm putting together a video tour of the new boat, um, but I wanted to go ahead and give you a rundown of some of the new equipment we're going to put on it, and maybe a little brief overview of some of the things we got planned for. So here are some uh, some pictures of what we got so far. All right. Well, to start off with, this boat came with absolutely no instrumentation. Uh, the only electronics it had aboard was the uh, an old VHF radio. It looks like it's probably early 1990s. So the first thing um, <clears throat> that I, of course, wanted to do is, besides replacing that, is uh, I'm, we're going to put a radar, GPS, uh, depth finder, uh, depth sounder, and fish finder on it. So we chose the Raymarine A78 uh, digital radar pack. It uh, comes from West Marine and it looks like it's going to be a pretty good choice. Next up, in replacing the VHF radio to get uh, to newer technology here, uh, we wanted something with uh, built-in GPS, a distress, and AIS. <clears throat> so we opted for the Simrad RS35. It's kind of a neat, uh, neat transceiver <clears throat> and it's got a handheld wireless option uh, which I ordered also. Uh, this uh, this I really like. I think I think this is going to do us a lot of good for kind of having a, uh, a sense of security out there for collision avoidance. Now because I hadn't done a, a thorough inspection on the boat on our first visit, um, I kind of jumped the gun and I ordered this uh, power inverter. It's a nice little 2300 watt uh, power inverter. Uh, problem is I get on the boat and I find a 5,000 watt power inverter mounted in the engine room. So this guy's uh, gonna be a spare. He might go in the RV. Uh, next up we've got solar. <coughs> I uh, went ahead and ordered a 100 watt uh, solar panel and it came with a charge controller which is probably not a very good. It's not, the, not one, of the, uh, one of the better ones but it's gonna do for now and that'll get us 100 watts worth of charge on the boat. Uh, that there are a couple of the other things that we ordered. Uh, ordered a 12-foot skiff <coughs> from West Marine, and we've got a. We, we're going to buy a, a, the four-horsepower motor to go on that. Uh, let's see what else we did. Uh, next up, we're going to order a. Uh, we're going to order a water maker for it. Um, I'm debating upon which models, but we're going to we're going to definitely put a water maker on it. Um, refrigeration. It has a big box refrigerator in it right now that somebody bought at Walmart or someplace, and that's going to come out. <clears throat> we're going to put a a cold, a cool blue cold plate in it, and we're going to rebuild the refrigerator box. And I'm going to, I've got a little design that I've drawn up that where we should be able to have a nice freezer in one box, channeling cold air into the refrigerator in another. That'll uh, give us plenty of room for. Uh, freezing foods and food storage and everything else. Anyway, uh, next up uh, we're going to do a tour, so stay tuned.